good morning good morning welcome to my channel um today it says pattern and matchbook paper i don't know if i've got a pattern i'll figure it out we'll figure it out guys i don't know if i've got one but it doesn't matter pattern can mean anything pattern could be i suppose um a nice strip of washi with a nice pattern on it lace whatever so that's how i'm gonna look at that one so it's december remember the prompt prompts are made up by um barbara from 49 dragonflies and louisa hansel don't journal art it's your daily if i'm rump inspiration in december so let's get on with it oh, i've got a bit of cardstock there that I was going to make into something that I didn't do. So, I'm going to figure out how to do it. Because I haven't done, or well, I've done one recently, but not many of these little things. So, I wanted something a little bit more arty. Because that's already got a, I might actually, before then, I want to put another because you're going to add pages to your um, little booklet and you only need like a really small I don't know if it's about an eighth or something just to give you that little bit of um, if you can see I think I've done it. You don't need it on the other side. It's just mainly that side. I've done it anyway. See what I mean? So it's not even an eighth of an inch. So you need that. And you want it that way. So I don't get mixed up. And I would leave half an inch. So maybe so we don't bugger up there's no half an inch here anyway but anyway it doesn't matter doesn't matter oh so i'm just going to roughly guess that and do it like so make sure yep it will be okay because we just want to lip oh i'm going to keep it there for a minute Gee, that's that's roughly correct i might just chomp a little bit because all you need it to is to fit in there but you can have it going that way because i think that's how they used to be so i'm just going to chomp a little bit just an eighth of an inch and that's that i'll save that for a journal card in case I need to make one and now we might decorate we might decorate and what I thought I might do remember how I done the collage pieces I just might use some of that um, I just reckon it look good. I just reckon it look good because I've used it before. And also, the girls have been having a snack a day, and because it's mid morning, I'm going to have a licorice bomb. I haven't had these in years. These are when I was a kid. So I thought oh, I'm going to do the same as what everybody else does licorice bomb. Mmm. Mm. It's a little bit tangy. I'm not used to sweets. A little bit tangy. I'm not sure if I'll use that. Um, I like to see um 
things like that patterns. Mm -mm -mm. Very tangy. Very tangy. Just got to cover it. I'm just using scrappy doos. Mmm. So. Mmm. It's very sweet. So I'm basically using my scraps and I'm going to cover the front. I was going to ink it. I was going to ink it. I'm going to have a bit of ink. I'm just going to use a makeup sponge. I just find sometimes that's better. You can have this matchbook smaller and bigger. Because my journal is a reasonably big book, I'm thinking along the lines that. And I'm going to pause you when I go to it and see if I have got sewing stuff. Mm mm mm. Mm. Oh, that's better. Mm. So I'm going to. I'm just gluing loose, like you know, like because I'm going to sew. going to sew I'm not stressing it out in I want that there there whoops I'm being clumsy and I'm gonna put that just so I like that it's already got the splatters in it. Let's worry about the back. And I was thinking, I might go and look for some pattern paper. I'll pause you. So my understanding um, of pattern paper is this stuff. So I'm going to see what's in here. I haven't looked at this for a long time. Where is it? Oh, it's sealed forever. <laughs> I'm gonna nip into it because I can't open it. There you go. And let's see what's in here. Well, let's see. actually thought it'd be more you know like it's been moth bitten and I'm just going to rip a little bit because that's what I'm going to do so this is the back page so I'm going to glue this down carefully because we'll have to wait till it dries and we'll sew around it and what not Because that's what we like doing. To 
just love love, love playing with paper guys and especially that paper that I collaged the other week. That is such divine paper to work with. I'm going to put that. Hang on a minute. I'm going to put a strip of this collage fodder. I might make a lot of this and make a collage um, out of it. You know, like a, for a cover. I reckon that would look good because the collage I made for that other book cover just amazing and the tags I made all from that big collage um, bits and pieces that I had in my stash I scrap busted you know and I scrap busted heaps guys anyway it's still pretty cold here um, it's annoying. I think it's the 14th. Yeah, it's the 14th of... Oh, that looks pretty. So, I need to do something here. Now I don't know. See, that that's very moth-eaten. Look, look, look at that. It's coming apart. But, I'm thinking... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Can you see what I see there? Just that bit there. Oh, wow, I love that paper. First of all, we've got to put, find something else. And so we'll be in my fodder. I'm going to save that so it doesn't. Um, I'm fodder, 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 the stuff I made, that'd be nice, I might just do that, because I'm going to stamp up here, might just do that, this fodder is brilliant, it's all torn bits and pieces and it's just yummy stuff using your old water paints and stuff it always makes you feel differently about all your supplies you know your scrappy do's and whatever um which is a good thing you know because you're saving some money so i'm gonna put that scrap there because it looks good and I'm going to do that with that. If I really like some of this stuff, I'm going to remake it. You know what I mean? I'm just not going to make more. And just um, leave it there for my journals, you know, or put it in my journal. Or journals, you know, have a couple of similar stuff using different supplies maybe. I'm thinking. How cute. Okay. Okay. First we might do a stamp. Um I have one that I really liked, and it better not have run away. Because that's what happens. Um, I don't a good one, and it says the story begins. Well, it's gone. I'm hoping it hasn't, but I just put stuff away before. But I'm sure I didn't put that one away. Here it is. And I'm going to put that there. Oh, nice. Nice stuff. Now, I want to do something here. And that's where you want to look at your 
butter pieces differently, you know, and use them a little bit differently, I guess. Um, well, that's nice. And I tend to look at things like as if I was doing a um, bit of washi, you know what I mean? Because I'm not using washi, I'm using the fodder. That's how I look at it, you know. Um, that's the front, so that's that way. And I'm just going to glue it like so. Oh, this is pretty. I'm going to cut that little, cut them. And when they've, whoops, I'm going to have to rip that, but whoops. Yeah, that's good. Put that out of the road. Now, what I'm going to do is rip that little bit out too. And... I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. So, we'll put the fodder aside, and then I thought, I think that'd be right to rip. And rip this one. And then I thought, maybe, what we might need is... I don't know. I've got some scraps here and bits and pieces. How cute. That one reminds me of myself when I was a young young lassie. So I might pull that, try them too, and I might have a look at her. Um, bit of laces. Put the fodder away so it's out of my road. And we'll check. I love him too. Okie dokie. I think, I think I'm all right now. So I need a bit of cheesecloth. A bit of cheesecloth in my life. He loves their cheesecloth. It's just nice, isn't it, to work with them. It's grungy and... And I don't need two layers. This has got paint in it. Um, just nice and grungy. Maybe. Because I'm going to sew around it, it's going to make the world a difference to this. So I'm going to turn this that way. And I want my girl to be like so. Mm. I like that. I actually really like it. I like the grunginess of it. But I need a bit of lace. Need a bit of lace. There. I don't know. I know. I want this because it's so grungy and it looks good. I might angle it a bit that way. Oh, it does. It looks amazing. Oh, I love it. It's grungy. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to try a little bit of glue always is great for cheesecloth and I want it so it's like there's ground there so I want that to be grungy anyway okay where is she which is lover 
She is gorgeous. Oh, she's gorgeous. And a little bit of glue there. And now I like the stamp, but it just needs to be a little bit less paper. I like the grunge of it, but maybe it needs to be a bit more colour, I'm thinking. Maybe. Just have another stamp here. Maybe I don't need a stamp. Maybe I need something else. Nope. We need the stamp. So what I might do, lightly tear those sides. Don't want to be forever. Oh, that's better. That's better. I don't mind it being... I like it layered the way it is, but I just taken over and I don't want it to take over because we've already got that focal point of the beautiful doll that used to look like me when I was that I used to look like when I was little. Don't need those again. So maybe, oh yes we might. Okay. Um maybe 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 or tear, uh, I just feel it's missing something. You know, you, you look at something, you think, oh, it's missing something. Well, have a look at these, these little ones. I like the little ones because they just fill in the gaps a little. Okay. The number should it be on this side because it won't matter if it's not there yeah I'll just check just check yeah no I'd like this I like this now I'm just gonna move it there And what are we going to do? Like so. These Tracy Fox's um, tickets never go astray. Absolutely never, ever go astray. Okay. I'm going to pause you, go to the sewing machine, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, <laughs> this is what I've done. I sewed with a bit of a pattern there and then around, and you can see it there, and just breaks it a bit. And I'll put a bit of a pattern there, and I sew in around this. And all we've got to do is look for pages. I'd forgotten how to make these, but I love them. So I'm going to use some of this because I love this. Um... I've got that. What else can I use? What else? This piece of copy paper. I might, I might use a bit of this. Oh, I've got to be careful with this. I don't want to. I like it. And now, where's my ruler? Oh, here it is. So, I just want a few pages. 
Um, how many of you love doing this sort of stuff? Do you find it fun? You know, because oh, I actually do. I actually love playing the way I'm playing. So I'm going to put that one there, that one, just so. That there, because that still can be written on. And I'm just going to put it like so. And then that will go like so. So because I don't want to waste all of this, because I love doing this too, I'm going to put that down like so. And the matchbook booklet's coming along. And I was thinking, let's not waste this. I'm just going to add it. How cute! Now, I couldn't find my mini stapler, so I'm just using this one. And when you staple, you staple down here. And then we'll see what else it needs before we finish up. I couldn't find my mini, so I'm using the bigger one, but you can't tell. So there's this, the scrappy pad, and it goes, oh, it's a bit tight, a tight fit. Oh no, it fits, it fits just, oops, oopsie days, ah, oh, there, yeah, that fits, oh, cute, now, what else do I want to do to it, um, I'm thinking, oh, there, nope, what can I do there? Um, oh, I'm going to do a bunny. I love the bunnies. And look, and it won't fit perfectly, but I'll just go choppy. You're not going to notice. And um, that oh, I love me bunnies and he's been printed on printer paper this beautiful bunny my grandson's been so wrapped I've used all the bunnies I'll just print some more there whoops where's my wet ones it's coming along nicely it really is I don't know what I've done with them um, doesn't matter. So, because I haven't frayed this, you might have to nip it to actually fray it. And it will fray nicely. Just take some away and nip at it. How cute! How cute is that? Nope. So it's pattern and matchbook. Like I said, I have made many matchbooks in my time, so this is probably my third or second one. I might nip at that a little bit. Not much. Not much. Oh, doesn't matter. And that will go like so. Oh, that's better. That's better. Oh, I love it. So that's my little, um, oops. I'll just, a little bit near the ears. Stick the ears down. Because I am sticking on tracing paper. How cute is that? And I leave all those bits and that hanging in 
tomorrow I'll be back and we'll be doing metal and photo. Isn't that cute? That needs snipping at it too, but it doesn't matter. And then I'll pull it out. How cute is she? Oh, I'm excited. Thanks, guys. Have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.